Welcome back, cave dwellers. I am K Dub, also known as the 417 Manchild. And you can find me under that, the 417 Manchild, on Instagram. And obviously, that's how you found me here. So, uh, while you're here, give me a like, uh, subscribe, share if you feel like it, uh, comment, definitely comment. Let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. I always love to find that out and do better, you know. I got lighting. I'm working on cleaning up my area over here. And um, But today we are going to go through the AEW figures. We're going through the Dark Order so far. We still need 10 and a couple other people, but uh, sadly... He is no longer with us. Uh, that gives you an idea about when this video was shot. He uh, didn't resign. That was a week ago, something like that. Maybe just a little bit more than a week. But um, pretty much how they're set up here is my order of who I like the most. I, you know, 100%. You know, Mr. Brody Lee, uh, John Huber, slash. Um, Oh, sorry, I was getting lost in the TNT title there. Uh, slash Luke Harper from the WWE. You know, I just I've followed him for many years, and it was sad when he passed, and we all know that stuff. But um, I love old Johnny Hungy over here, John Silver. He is one of my favorites. He's just funny, and I love the funny Anna J. She is. Uh, it's always good to have the women in my collection. I try to build up as many female wrestlers as possible. So she's a favorite just because she definitely she fills in my female roster so I can get them going. Uh, Evil Uno, he's growing on me. I'm watching a lot of his, uh, what you call it, uh, vlogs on YouTube. And funny dude. I like him with Ethan Page and all them. Another figure I can't wait till comes out. But uh, then we have old Stu Grayson. He is, uh, again, no longer with us, but love his Kratos cosplay he basically does for his figures. Very awesome. But uh, we're going to hit the pause button. I'm going to unpack these so you guys don't have to suffer through that. But all of them have their glamour shots. That's a pretty good one of her and Dr. Britt Baker. I wish the Dr. Britt Baker were... Uh, figure looked a little better I see they've got some new ones coming out and um, face sculpt is not very kind to her and that's too bad she's a very pretty lady um, but Stu's got him yelling as he does and uh, uh, yes there he is Dark Order uh, we're missing him and Ten and there's old Johnny Hungy doing what he best showing off them big old guns so I'm going to pause it, and then we'll come right back. All right, Cave Dwellers, we are back. We have unpacked the Dark Order, and we're going to talk about them. We're going to show them off a little bit. So first off, we have Mr. Brody Lee here. He comes with the papers that he always throws, and he comes with the TNT title, and, of course, the wadded up papers, which is just super classic and <laughs> he will be remembered forever for you got Brody Lee down the side you got the Dark Order shirt here and you got I mean just a fantastic likeness I mean they could do no wrong so uh, God, it's just awesome I love this figure so much so he is fantastic uh, who do we go with next? Let's go with old Anna J here. So Anna J is a pretty decent likeness. I mean, they've got you know plenty of waist swivel, thigh swivel, knee bending. Got the nice plasticky, uh, soft plastic knee pads there. Plenty up and down. Of course, I'm going to display them all with the that hand the join the dark order hand so sorry i gotta stop looking at these things. oh so yeah she's a little cheeky i guess that's something they're gonna do now they're just gonna have them with their buns hanging out and that's just the style that they chose to go with which is fine nothing wrong with that 
we'll put Anna up here since she's a little shorter she did come with this smiley face seems like she's never smiling so I'm not going to display her with that but her hair is like really that's really soft so and then she came with a couple of grippy hands and she come with her other punching hand so she's got two fists and she ain't afraid to use them uh let's go let's go Stu grayson next love this i decided to go with the screaming head on him of course the join the dark order thing there that's a soft oh, that's soft and it moves oh, okay so that is pretty cool and maybe need to spin that around a little bit but cool this is really cool and that is that's nice dark order colors purple and black uh it's got a little something underneath there and then the back <laughs> he's got a little something underneath there uh and then he's got a little something back here too but little cheeky himself but uh okay i'm sorry but yeah this thing is this feels fantastic maybe because it's 90 degrees and it's keeping it really soft i don't know but Stu is a i'm glad we got a figure of him before he disappeared so we'll put him a little more up here i got this AEW ring on sale at walmart for like 20 bucks like a couple months back and I was like, I don't know what I'll do with it. I've got a few AEW figures. And then all of a sudden, boom, I've got several AEW figures. And it doesn't hurt that I got the whole... I don't get them all, but I do get the majority of them. Here is the smiling head to stew. I don't... He doesn't smile a lot, so... But he does have two fists of fury. So he's... I'm about to drop that in the floor. Uh, but he's ready to rumble so and then he's got a partially open hand so but i'm of course doing all of them with those uh let's go with evil uno next evil uno is pretty awesome i uh love the sculpt of that head that is fantastic and this is a another soft goods thing that i don't believe would come off and you don't need to he doesn't come off of it he's got the a similar body to mine he's a gentleman of uh, uh i can't remember what the little fun saying of that man of a certain size or something i don't know but uh yeah he's he's really cool evil uno's winning me over he i love his vlogs and He's just a fun dude. And you can kind of get up in there. Is that open? Yeah, it's kind of sculpted open. You got the eyes. If you can see those and everything. Of course, I'm keeping him in his Join the Dark Order. Get up. So will he stand? I'm going to lean him a little forward. No. Nope. Need to adjust his feet. And will he stand now? Yes, he will stand. And he comes with... Um, Let's see, he's got himself a couple of punching hands, little fists of fury. And then he comes with a his open hand, kind of whatever that's for, whatever that's for. And uh, then he comes with this hand, which comes with the AEW microphone, which we've seen a lot of with different people Miro, I think, was the first one I saw with the MJF thing come with it. So it's cool. But he's got his joint Dark Order hands. Then finally, rounding out the guy, or the, the, there's a trio, the trio is three. Uh, rounding out the five of these boys, you got the Dark Order um, symbol on him, Johnny Hungy. John Silver, nice soft goods coat, Dark Order Silver, oh, that's pretty awesome, check that out, that's really cool, and uh, again, there's no reason to take that off, because I will be 
displaying them in the dark order. Brody Lee did come out with one with him and his son, which I may get one day. It's a little pricey, but it's probably better to get it now than down the road when it's going to cost way more. But uh, John Silver, I kept with a serious face. I figured this is more apropos for his character, even though he is fun. But that being said, his happy-go-lucky face may appear at some point. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, he does come with two fists of fury if I change my mind and I want to set something up. Wonder Twins powers activate. Um, so there's that. And then he comes with his half open hand. So, but all in all, just fantastic. Um, oh, I should have kept it on that. That's a much better view. Uh, but yeah, all in all, fantastic. I mean, oh gosh, Brody Lee, just incredible to have him in my collection. Just finally, I've got like three Luke Harpers in my collection, but uh. To get this Dark Order thing rounded out, we should see 10, uh, which he's hilarious. Press 10 and uh, Ethan Page's vlogs, those are classic. But like I said, Evil Uno super growing on me. Stu is fantastic. And of course, Anna J is just awesome and adds another female to the roster, which can't go wrong. So, But uh, there it is. And I've got, I totally forgot they come with these unrivaled cards so i need to un unbox unwrap <laughs> these and uh we'll see what we've got on those so i will do a separate video on these Probably a shine. um so that is all i want to keep this fairly short so thank you so much and um Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what I'm doing right. Let me do you know what I'm doing wrong. And um, go over to 417 Manchild on Instagram and like some of my stuff there. Follow me over there and uh, just come on this journey with me. I just now noticed the things hanging out over there. He's watching from the backstage. Big fan. Big fan of the Dark Order. So, uh, but anyway, thank you so much. And you guys, be good to one another happy collecting good luck finding what you're looking for and uh just have a great day later bye